Hey guys, welcome to another episode in my squad builder series and in this video we are going to build a hybrid squad um, which is built around the uh, international man of the match Mandzukic now uh, that is his purple version if you didn't know that um, so uh, yeah guys as you can see on the screen this uh, will be a hybrid in the 3-5-2 formation which is a pretty good formation I must say and um, pretty much how the hybrid is built up it's like a Croatian link uh, all down the middle so from like the uh, center back to the strikers and then on the right and the left we have like two separate um, pairings of players which have um, like a triple link so they have the same nationality and the same league and the same club and that uh, gives them nine chemistry now there is a bit special because um, the, uh, if I would have done it like that the CAM uh, wouldn't have got a nine cam because he has no green links so uh, therefore we have uh, you know one of the pairings on the left or right uh, will indeed link with the CAM so uh, they both get nine cam so uh, anyway um, you know you will see uh, how it turns out later on in this video let's get into the squad now um, now I, uh, as a goalkeeper um, we have uh, Guillermo now uh, Guillermo he is a, a Brazilian goalkeeper who plays for Lo Lokomotiv in the Russian league I believe and now uh, I've heard pretty good things about him you know he's pretty much in there for chemistry reasons I'm gonna be honest with you um, but he has actually a pretty decent goalkeeper you know he doesn't make major mistakes and he, he is pretty decent all around so uh, yeah he's a good goalkeeper then moving on to the uh, first center back we have uh, the inform uh, Chorluka now uh, he, I think he transferred from Tottenham to uh, Lokomotiv this summer or either this winter or this summer I'm not sure about that but he has some really uh, good stats for his center back uh, seeing as he has 78 pace 83 defending 86 heading but he also has 74 passing and 76 dribbling so he's a pretty good center back all around and uh, of course he's also Croatian then um, you know I'll first go ahead and put the left uh, side into the squad now so uh, you know at left center back uh, we have the inform Rolando and pairing up with him on the left mid spot uh, we have Varela now as you can see they are both Portuguese and they both play for SA Porto giving them uh, both nine chemistry so uh, pretty much uh, talking about the players you know going in detail first of all Rolando is a really good center back uh, which I've used in uh, some previous uh, squad builders which were you know with uh, the Portuguese league and uh, such uh, you know he has 74 pace which is you know uh, not that fast for a uh, three back formation you pretty much need uh, a bit more pace but you know he makes up for that with 85 defending and 80 heading and uh, also his long shot I must say is pretty good you know 75 shot uh, shooting he, he doesn't have quite the long shots uh, of uh, like for Dongan who has a really good long shot for his center back but you know I would say his long shot is quite good and you can hit some long shots if you just try uh, enough then moving on to Varela here uh, you can see from his stats that is 85 pace 82 drilling 74 shot 76 passing now he is right footed so he can cut inside uh, to his right foot and uh, take a shot but he also has five star weak foot and he has five star skills so uh, that's pretty much why I went with uh, this pairing on the left because I wanted Varela in there because he's such a monster so um, yeah moving on to the right side of the squad now uh, we have at center back uh, we have Ledley King who just retired and then at the right mid spot we have uh, Aaron Lennon now um, guys first about Ledley King he is in there for chemistry reasons because uh, I needed to get Lennon on the right mid spot for chemistry reasons and uh, therefore I need to find a um, a English center back from Tottenham Hotspur and um, you know it was either King or Dawson and I decided to go for King since he has 85 heading and 83 defending and also 67 pace which is decent so uh, yeah and then we have a uh, Lennon here on the right uh, oops uh, you know it's standout stats 95 pace you know he is absolutely lightning quick he uh, 
he pretty much accelerates past every defender uh, unless they don't have any attributes cards or anything of that kind he also has 86 dribbling which is pretty good he has you know he has some close ball control and he also has four star skills so you know he can chop inside and as such so uh, yeah that's pretty much the pairing on the right then uh, if we go to the two center defensive mids here uh, first on the left we have the inform Jarjalo. I think it's how you pronounce it. He's a silver inform uh, He has 75 pace 70 shots 74 passing 80 dribbling and I must say he's nothing special to be honest um, You know he is um, Quite decent he sits back well, but you know he's not the most amazing CDM but for Croatia because I need uh, to creation Center defensive mid, he is probably the best together with uh, the other center defensive mid I have, and that is uh, Rakitic. Now, um, together they uh, play quite well, you know, attacking wise, but uh, they're both, I think they're both original CM, so they don't have the best work rates and stats to uh, fit the center defensive role, and that's also because, uh, and that, <laughs> that makes that this squad uh, is not really. Um, that's strong defensively and that's just because of the fact that in a 3-5-2 I think the center defensive mids are really really important because uh, you know they hold down the field and if they sit well in their positions uh, you can pretty much win every ball in the middle but uh, because they don't do that quite well um, you know this squad isn't the best defensive but attacking wise this squad is actually really good so it still suggests that uh, maybe you need some uh, other players I don't know uh, how it fits for you but you can try it out yourself but anyway uh, moving on to the CAM here we have of course the only uh, the, the one and only Luka Modric 88 rated 86 passing 86 dribbling 79 pace uh, uh, you know his uh, passing is actually exceptional he has a really good uh, pass he can for example uh, send Lennon or Varela away on the wings and then they can cross it in for example I don't know but um yeah you, you can now see why we needed Lennon on the right side because they're both from uh, Tottenham Hotspur and therefore uh, Luka Modric will get nine chemistry so um, yeah moving on to the two strikers now I already told you uh, which one of them is and as you can see here the first one is uh, in the uh, international man of the match Mandzukic and the other striker is uh, Ivica Olic. Now, um, I must say that Mandzukic is a really standout player because of his 90 heading. You know, he wins pretty much every ball in the air. Uh, he has also, you know, he has decent pace, decent shot, decent dribbling. He has three star skills, unfortunately, not four, but, uh, ex uh, you know, his heading is absolutely exceptional. He has really good heading. Uh, he pretty much wins every ball. And, um, you know, then for Olic here, uh, he is a more all-round striker, I would say. His shot is uh, pr really better than uh, Mandzukic, but uh, he is nothing really special. He doesn't have, like, exceptional pace. He's just an all-round striker. And, you know, if you go ahead and build this team, which I quite suggest, then I will also suggest that you, um, you know, you use uh, the wings really well. Uh, you can... Um, Use Lennon and Varela to cross the ball in, and there, and then either Mandzukic or Olic will probably put his head to the ball. Um, so yeah, I would, I wouldn't go pace scoring with this squad just because of the fact that your strikers aren't that quick, but Lennon and Varela are. So uh, you could also do that if you want. But uh, yeah, guys. Anyway, this has been the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. That would really help me out. And. Um, subscribe to my channel for future squad builders please suggest some players in the comment section down below which you would like to see involved in another hybrid squad and uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys so I'll see you on the next episode so peace